Hi teachers, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma Balansai and I wanna show you how to embed a multiplication classroom that I created into your Schoology account. Not only will students be able to click on it and practice their times tables, but you'll also be able to have a digital bulletin board where you can keep track of which students have mastered each times table. Before I continue, I want to remind you that I post teacher tech tutorials, and if you'd like to learn more every week, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and click on the bell next to subscribe. Okay, so let's get started. When you open the file for the multiplication classroom, you're going to see the images of the classrooms in either English or Spanish. Choose the one you like, and once you click on the image, it will ask you to make a copy to your Google Slides. Click on make a copy. And when you open it, you'll see what the multiplication classroom looks like. The numbers on the left already have links for the students to practice their times tables. I'll show you really quick what it looks like in your Schoology, then we'll come back here for the rest in Google Slides. So in your Schoology course, I will show you how to embed it, um, but this is how it's going to look. And in the left, you'll see practice and the students can click on whichever times tables they're working on. When they click on it, it's going to take them to multiplication.com and it'll prompt them to write their name and it'll ask them if they want picture hints off or on. You can let them know what you want and then click on start self correcting quiz. Here they will answer the questions. It's going to give them 20 total questions to answer. And when they go, um, when they finally complete the test, it's going to look like this. It'll give them a summary of their score, um, how long it took them to complete it, and their name. And in the bottom, it'll show their corrected quiz and it'll show the results. So that way they can review any wrong answers. And this is a way for them to practice. Here on the left, you'll see the times tables tracking chart, and this is a digital bulletin board for you to keep track of where your students are at. And it's very motivating for students to see their name um, under the times table that they have mastered so far. Here, you would just click on it. It's a text box that I inserted. You can insert a picture, you can insert um, a number. I would recommend using maybe the initials um, instead of their name, and then, once you update this and you have it already embedded in your Schoology, you don't need to embed it again because when you refresh the page, it'll update the name. So any change that I make on my Google slide, so here if I put, for example, the initials um, MB on times table number five and I go to Schoology, I simply refresh the page and you'll see that that change also happened here in the Schoology course. So it's very easy to edit once you have it embedded. So let me walk you through how to embed it into your, um, how to embed it into your Schoology course. What you're gonna do is go to File, and then go down to Publish to the Web, and then go to Embed, here i'm going to customize the size because the small is a little bit too small and under custom i'm going to change the width to 575 click enter tab and then i'm going to copy this link in the bottom then go to schoology click on add materials go down to add page Then here, click the, write the title. And then here, very important on the left, click on the two dots up here and you're going to paste that link. Don't forget to click here on display in line and create. It's gonna show up in the bottom you'll see that it's right here already on your page. You can move it to the top or wherever you'd like. 
Something additional that you can add to this classroom is you can add links to these boxes right here so that when the kids click on it, it'll take them to a quizzes. And I already have the quizzes made and I included the links to those quizzes in this file. So for example here, let's go ahead and add the one for the two times tables. When you click on that number, it's gonna take you to an already made quiz. And these are different because these are gonna be timed. And for example, if they click on the two, not only will it test them on their two times tables, but it's gonna test them on zero, one, and two, and so on. If they click on five, it'll test them on zero, one, two, three, four, five. So here, once you open it, you're gonna click on assign homework. You can edit the questions if you'd like as well, add more, remove, however you'd like. And then I'm gonna set a date for a deadline. Click on continue. Click on share link, copy link, and then go back to your go back to your Google slides, and we're gonna insert um, we're gonna insert a shape, and I'm just gonna add a rectangle here. I'm gonna make sure that. It is transparent and the line is also transparent. Then I'm gonna click on insert and add link. And I'm gonna add that link to that quizzes, click on apply, and I don't have to embed this whole thing again in my Schoology because it's already there. So all I have to do is go over here, refresh the page in Schoology. And you'll see that when I click on that number two, it's going to open the quizzes and all the student has to do is add their name and start the quiz. And start game. This will be timed. It's not going to be multiple choice. And this is a way for you to see um, another way for you to give them an assessment. I really hope your kids like this virtual classroom for them to learn their times tables. If you have any questions, let me know, leave me a comment, and I'd love to help you set up your digital bulletin board. The link for this resource is below this video, but if you're a teacher in my district, make sure to email me and I'll send you this resource.